Flexibility and separation tricks working with Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0. You know, working with Simple Steps, we've got all these tools and all of this flexibility, especially because of the fact that we rip in our application, giving us access to our actual halftones before we print them out. Unlike the other rips where we do blind ripping, in other words, we just click print and it comes out on the film, we have access to our separations and our halftones in our applications to make adjustments and changes, and we can also do tricks with that. Now I wanted to demonstrate some of that flexibility here in this video. You know, along with the trapping and the choking and the spreading and everything, we also have access to our ripped halftones directly in our application. Very different as opposed to working with the other rips that are available in the industry. I want to take a look at something here. I've got the Tiger graphics set up here on page two. And if we look at this, we can see that we've got this orange and yellow blend all encompassed by the black. So we could spread that if we wanted to for easier registration, say on a manual press or for longer print runs. But if I spread that, I'm going to spread the orange and yellow that I have in the elements around the outside of the design and the simulation of the ink print that I have down here beneath the squeegee. But I can use a simple trick to work around that to spread just the orange and yellow that's here inside of the tiger. To do that, I just simply go through and select my objects. For example, I'll come here and select this object. Then I'll hold down Shift and Alt together Click again, you can see now I've got two objects. Do the same thing over here, click two times. Now I've got four objects, and then select the object down here at the bottom. So I've got these five objects selected. Simply go to Advanced Tools, and I'll go to Simple Steps 4. Here I'll go to my Color Management, and I'll create a selection palette. Now here I'll select my orange, and for now I'll just replace that with, let's say, I'll go ahead and replace orange with a blue and select OK. So I know that my orange is blue. I'll select my yellow and I'll replace that with, say, a... Well, not an orange, but we'll go with magenta. So yellow is magenta and orange is blue. Then I'll go ahead here and I'll select all of the objects in my graphic, create my selection palette here. Again, I'll select all these colors, get my orange, get my yellow, get my green, my black, and my white here. And I'll do a one-click conversion and select OK. Now what I'll do here is because I know that my yellow is magenta, and I always keep a reference for this back here on page one, and I can see that actually my orange is magenta, and my yellow, my orange is the blue, and my yellow is the magenta. I want to make sure here. Yep. Okay, so take a look at this. Now we've got this set up. I'll go to my separations. I'll go to half tones here. Now I'm not going to generate a white base here. I'm just going to show you this trick real quick here. Come down here to my magenta and my purple. Now I'm going to interlock these. I want to interlock the orange. So I want to make sure I've got the orange selected. So if I go back to page one, my orange is going to be actually the blue. So I'll come here and select that to an interlock. Then what I'll do is I'll come up here to my orange and yellow. And I'll select my orange to be interlocked. But I'll give both of these a spread of two pixels. And I'll go ahead and select all black here for my output. And then I'll go ahead and click on generate separation. I want to make sure I don't have my white because I'm not going to need that either. Go ahead and click on generate separations and we'll let that process. Once my separation is finished processing, we can see that we have the halftone preview here. I'll zoom in here. Here we can actually go and we can select, holding down Alt, we can go through our separations. This is the magenta, which would actually be my yellow, and here's the colors from the separation palette. Which actually got moved up here by accident. I want to bring these over here. There we go. I can right-click that and change that back to a yellow. I can hold down Alt again, and I'll get down here to my blue, and I'll right-click and change that to an orange for the preview. Then I can go through my previews here, and I can see this would be the separation that is actually would have been that magenta color. And I'll take that and copy that and I'll come through here to what would be my orange. Now I can go back to page one for my reference for where my orange is and that would be my orange here. And I can take this and I can paste this in. Now I can go ahead and left click here on the X to knock out the background color and I've pasted that in. Now what's happened here is now I'm going to have a spread here on the orange inside of the tiger, but not here that across the outside, and that's actually yellow, not the orange. I can come back here to what would be my orange, even though this is actually the blue. Copy that, come here 
to which would be my orange color here and left click and now I've got that set up and this would also have the spread that you would see. So now I've gone and created a custom separation but if we go back to the half tones and you want to verify that when you're setting, you know, replacing those colors up. If I come down through here, Alt, past the second orange and get this orange and we go ahead and copy this and we paste it in we'll see that we actually have the spread here. If I hit Control Z to undo that, you'll see that spread go away. And then I hit Control Z to do that paste, Shift Control Z to do that pasting, and you can see that spread, but it's not affected out here. So we can see that we can tweak and customize our separations. And I can come here to these pages that I'm not going to need. Just right click and delete page here. I'll do the same thing here and delete page here. And I've got a custom separation I've set up with spreads that only happen inside of the black for the orange and the yellow that's inside of the tiger. So working with Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0, we have some unique flexibility because of the fact that we render or rip our half tones and our color separations directly in our application. And we can do things that we couldn't do working with the other ripping solutions that just go out to our printer. All these tools combined with the flexibility we have with the half tones in our applications the spreading, trapping, choking, gutters, enhanced weight, and all the different things that we have in Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0, we have a very unique solution to create custom separations based on the way we want to set up for outputting our films and setting up on press for screen printing in our shops. So I'll go ahead and wrap here in this session for our flexibility and separation tricks.